Okay, okay so we're gonna we're gonna go to the hospital story now. Okay. Since the phone is occupied and it can't be interrupted. We're going good. to tell da 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 the world's most disgusting hospital story. We should have made an intro, but Okay. Oh, make an intro out okay. of it. Wait, here, here comes the camera. Here comes no, the camera. Here, here we go. Well, here we go. Anyway, this is going back. Now, those of you who don't know, I spent five years working in a hospital as security slash orderly. And may it be there again. God willing. Um, and anyhow, um, during that time, this is the middle of summer, an elderly man in his 70s. Oh, I'm out of here. Comes in. <laughs> <laughs> complaining that he has not been able to remove his dental plate, his upper plate, for the last three days. <laughs> that it's stuck. So he thinks maybe there's some food or something gumming it together. So the uh, doctor takes him into the fast track. That's the room where they do small operations, stitches, ma minor medical procedures. And... Um, <laughs> uh, we're about to lose DJ Vortex. He bothered to place his head on uh, on uh, the man's lap, and I think the man's going to stab him. So we'll just no, wait a moment. Okay. The man's thinking on his feet. <laughs> <laughs> okay, getting back to it. So the man the man comes in, uh, elderly fellow, with his dental plate for three days, can't get it out. They take him into fast track, and they begin trying to remove it. Now, first of all, they lavage it. That's they pump saline into it to try to clean out the back. And it's jammed. It's really stuck to the top of a soft palate. Well, they finally pry it loose. And I'm kind of standing by Fast Track because I'm watching somebody in the, uh, the cast room who's a little drunk and they're putting a, uh, a cast on. So uh, I'm just keeping an eye on him. And I'm kind of also watching Not this. Uh, and I hear a scream. I think I've mentioned this before on all these really disgusting incidents that one of the nurses screamed. This ah! was a scream from the doctor. Oh, oh God. Because he got the first good look at this. It appears the old fellow had fallen asleep and left his plate in for a few days, and some of the tissue in the top of his palate had necrosed. Now, this is not really that uncommon. At all times, cells die in your mouth, and basically, normally, just by moving your mouth around, they're washed away. But keeping his plate in for so long, they had built up to a good amount of tissue. And some flies had come along, and they had laid their eggs in the food and the necrose tissue in the top of his mouth. And they had hatched, and they had turned into maggots. And I'm not making that up. They pulled the top of his plate out, and there were maggots eating away at the roof of the man's mouth. Oh. Oh. I would immediately deem his, him to be a member of the undead and kill him on the spot. Oh. Another, another harsh, rash decision. <laughs> yet, yet effective. Yet decisive and effective. Not effective that to when do what? all other possibilities have but been eliminated, kill it. what remains, no matter how improbable, must be the truth. <laughs> I go with Sean. He's been eaten alive by maggots yeah, but, and still but, walking but, around. But, but he him. didn't eliminate all the other, the, <laughs> all the other possibilities. Yes, first. but I didn't eliminate the guy with the maggots. <laughs> <laughs> and and it's I probably have, prosecutable in most jurisdictions. Ah, that's fucking. Pass it over. Maggots was a viable medical practice back in the. Hi, you're on Rant Radio. Who is this? Is now. Is now. I have one thing to say. Who is it? Zombie sixty nine. Okay, what's your one thing after you say? You know that about that maggot thing you're talking about? Yeah. All right, down in Georgia, there's this kind of weird thing that's going around. It's like a fly, but when it goes up like next to your body and pokes you and lays its eggs. It pokes you right in your neck and lays the eggs inside your body. Uh, Those are called shit. Grows and grows in your body, then you actually can touch. It's like a big old mole. And when you touch it, you can feel the little maggots moving around. Uh, that's uh, that's actually... Oh, oh my God. Yes. Understand that having a parasite inside of my body is the most disgusting thing imaginable to me. So I don't care how deep that little fucker went. It's if you leave a little maggot out. I don't. I'd get a straight razor and I'd do me some fucking hunting. He, he takes <laughs> about 